Hey, I am Rainan Petrzak. Uh, I helped with the editing and a bit of the research. I'm really interested in how these wash bottles work because it seems like a very far-fetched idea and I'm curious to see how they function. Michael Graham and I wrote the script for this project and the reason I'm interested in crystal wash bottles is that I've never heard of them before and it seems that if they were real they could have a real impact on the world. My name is Kenny Doan. My uh, contribution for this project were doing uh, research and uh, writing the script. So I'm, a, I'm interested in this topic because I, I have never heard of this product and I thought laundry detergent is the only product that you use to clean laundry. Hi, I'm Maya Zellin. My contribution to this project was doing research and I'm interested in this topic because I thought the science behind it was cool and sometimes when I'm doing my own laundry I'll be really clumsy one day and spill the laundry detergent everywhere and I thought having a ball as the laundry detergent would be useful. These are called crystal wash balls. They are advertised as these balls that you can just throw into the washing machine and they will clean your clothes. From their website, they give quite a bit of information. They last over 1,000 washes. That's about three years of laundry. They say that with these reusable walls, that you will save $240 worth of detergent. Other claims that are made is that they are eco-friendly by recharging in the sun every 30 days. They use bioceramics. One of their key benefits is that they help give a deep cleaning and disinfecting feel by claiming that a hydrogen peroxide effect is created. These balls don't use any chemicals, dyes, perfumes, or detergents when in use. 1,000 loads with no laundry detergents, no chemicals, no dyes, and no perfumes. They claim bioceramics change the pH of the water. Here is how it works. First, as crystal wash moves around in your laundry machine, it changes the chemistry and pH balance of the water. This process creates a natural hydrogen peroxide type effect, which cleans and disinfects your clothes, killing bacteria and odors. What do all of these claims have in common? None of them are backed up with any proof. They don't show any numbers, they don't reveal any results of tests, or describe any of the tests that they took to come up with these results. <laughs> There's no data to prove that it is effective and correct. The results are biased towards the company because it was the own company that was doing the testing. A better solution would be to have a third party that has no connections to the company test out the products and show the data so that the results can be verified. The data the company did provide is qualitative using a vague and undefined scale of one to five. Nowhere on the website is there a definition of what the scale means or what each individual point on the scale is qualified by. Not that it matters, however, because all of the ratings are 5 out of 5. There is also no peer review that could be found from a valid or trustworthy source. Product listings on Amazon are full of 5-star reviews, but almost all of these reviews are given with paid promotion from the Crystal Wash Company. The one study they did cite from the Polytechnic Institute of Hong Kong could not be found a Crystal Wash Ball Company do not provide a link to the study nor explain how the test was conducted. According to their infomercial video on their official website, these special bioceramics were developed using various minerals with a very effective antibacterial and antioxidant properties and also changed the balance of the pH level for the water in the washing machine. Using the power of bioceramics from the earth, that have powerful antibacterial and antioxidant properties, Crystal Wash cleans your clothes as effectively as laundry detergent. And then it, it creates a natural hydrogen peroxide effect that kills bacteria and odor on your clothes. However, bioceramics are materials that are made of alumina, hydroxyl appetite or calcium phosphate and which are used in the body to replace a function like bone material or hips or knees. In conclusion, the incorrect defin definitions of bioceramics is further proved that this is pseudoscience.
and it is not a valid claim. The main reason we have decided that this is a false claim is that the company provides no explanation of how the science works. We found this to be true because when the company did make an attempt to explain it, it was vague and confusing. They provided incorrect terminology and never gave a full and thorough explanation of the science. There was also no peer review provided and the data that was given was subjective with no quantitative data. Furthermore, there was only testimonial evidence provided.